Hi guys, my name is Aditya Kumar Chaturvedi and I'm here to talk about LED sections. So first of all, I'm sure you have heard it a lot of times, but you really need to remain calm. In my first attempt for CAT, I scored a measly 60 percentile or something in my LED section. But why? Because I read the data which is provided in the question really wrong. In my second attempt, I scored a 100 percentile in the LED section. So being calm really, really helps in the, uh, the D-Day, right? Secondly, you really need to practice a lot of puzzles and just not focus on, on the LEDI sets but puzzles in general because you really need to revitalize your grey cells. Once your mind opens up, it gets a lot easier. Coming to the third part, you need to solve a lot of LEDI sets and different kind of sets and you really need to get into the flow. Once you identify how to solve a particular kind of set, it gets a lot easier because you don't need to really think about how to approach that uh, particular kind of set once you get, really get to know about it, right? That's all from my side. Thank you so much and all the best. So, hey guys, my name is Abhishek Bhakchi. Today, I'm going to talk about DILR. DILR, as all of us know, is one of the most scariest section in the CAT exam. But the best part about it is that it is scary for all of us. You need to solve barely one set to reach above 80th percentile and uh, managing properly. You can easily solve two sets within 40 minutes. So I am going to share what I did as in the last mile of my CAT preparation. I solved all the CAT, all the previous CAT papers and all the mocks that I gave. I won't recommend giving any more mocks now. I would just recommend go through all the mocks and past CAT papers and familiarize yourself with as many sets as possible. Being an anxious guy, I always relied on solving as much as I can to avoid thinking. But if you are someone who can, who likes to chill or have some fun time before exam, you can cut back on your practice. Now, what you should do on the D-Day? I would recommend uh, as soon as the DILR section starts, you draw a table and evaluate each and every set. You can evaluate those sets on the basis of familiarity of those sets, conditions whether they are closed or open, questions whether they are closed or open. On the basis of them, you can give them ranking as per the weightage you have decided and then choose the right set. I would recommend do the easiest set first, don't keep it till the last. Do it, get it done, you might uh, finish it in uh, 5 to 6 minutes and that will give you a huge confidence boost which you can carry to quant. But if you avoid this 5 minutes of investment, you might get stuck on a wrong set which will ruin your uh, rhythm and it, it will hamper not your DILR but your quant also. So be careful about that and choose your sets wisely. All the best guys. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gunja Bansal. I secured 99.37 percentile in my DILR section. So I'll divide your preparation uh, into three parts followed with a bonus tip. First is the material that you should refer to. Uh, please go with your mock test, sectional test and past year papers. I highly recommend don't touch any author's book as of now. Uh, second thing is how much to prepare. Uh, try to solve at least 200 sets one week before your CAT examination and I'm telling you this is the bare minimum target you are setting for yourself. Third is the don'ts. Uh, th there are two don'ts. First, don't learn any new concept at this stage. And second is when it comes to analysis, uh, don't skip any set. So suppose if you are not able to solve any particular set, uh, just uh, try to figure it out what's the best approach to it. And uh, coming to your bonus tip, uh, when you are practicing, uh, please do it in sort of examination setting. Uh, by this I mean get used to those mouse clicks, uh, your on-screen keyboards and on-screen calculator. Thank you and all the best. My name is Dhruv Nainwal. So you need to focus on two things when it comes to LRDI. First is your preparation and followed by your performance on the actual CAD day. So if I talk about your preparation, so you need to make sure that from the year 2017 to year 2022, you are familiarized with all the sets that were available in different slots across the years. And it's not possible for you to go through all these sets and solve them. So at least see what the solution is like. And similar you should do with all the mocks you have taken. So go through all your mocks and see what's the solution for a particular LRD asset. Now coming on to how do you perform on the actual D-Day? It's of utmost importance that you make sure that you, do, you minimize the time losses you have in that particular section. So in the starting, you should make sure that in the initial five to seven minutes, you go through the entire paper and rank certain sets according to your comfortability. 
and uh, i would suggest you that in the normal people you will easily find three sets which are quite doable and out of those three sets even if you are able to solve two sets you are you would easily cross the 99 percentile mark and if you are a, a person who does above average you would be easily able to solve 2.5 sets which roughly contributes to our 99.2 percentile so as long as you are able to uh, make sure that you minimize your time loss you would be able to do good and i believe these tips will help you and all the best hi everyone my name is Heman, and today i'll be sharing a few tips and tricks about dli section it is one section where students find it really difficult irrespective of their academic background so and also the uh, point is that there is no fixed syllabus for this particular section the way i tackled this issue was by referring to past year's paper and the only way is to practice practice and practice Familiarize yourself with different kinds of sets, also solving them in a very short amount of time. And then on the D-Day, try to stay calm and know your strengths. Do not try to experiment on the last day by picking a set which you are not familiar with. Ensure firstly, go through the entire paper once and you will definitely identify the problem sets that you could be solving. Pick them and try to solve it. And do not get bogged down if you are not able to solve it in one go. Stay calm, you will always find a set that will be easier for you. And then, if it is difficult for you, then assume that it is difficult for everyone else. So, do not let this to carry forward in your other sections as well. And all the best.